Okay, no happy that it opens its head there. That does look a lot better, the um, tool. Looks weirdly like a crossbow though. <clears throat> I can't even move my character until I press H. So it's still one. I can't move, still locked in place. Let's see if that issue still occurs. Yep, it still occurs. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we can sprint straight away. That is nice. The engine is a bit weird, like the jump feels a bit worse than before. Like I feel I feel pushed down too much. I do like the effect though, even though that should probably be lower than where it currently is. I feel like that, that's too high, the actual ground. But I do like the noise that it has for stepping on snow. Or walking in snow, rather. Bit weird. I, I know this is open world now, which I'm not keen for, but... Okay. <laughs> no, um... Because there is fighting in this game. I guess I didn't do health bots or damage or anything yet. Um, you can still see the outlines through that too. So I don't know if... Oh, what was that? Or it just started to break apart for me. Um, hmm. I said that there's no invisible walls now, so I'm like, what should I just encounter? Oh no, it's just a hitbox for the thing. Okay. Yep, and you can die. Okay. I'm someone that likes to follow the path though, so while I know I'm supposed to go there, I'll explore a bit more, and you know, just get a feel for it. I'm a bit worried because it did log, you know, like it opened a um, page when I launched it, so I'm a bit skeptical now. Um, it seems like a dead end, so I'm not entirely sure why they did that, like, uh, and I don't have my grappling hooks, so, you know, it's probably best to not give us open world until we've got a, cause it, you know, open world is like you got to have something there, otherwise it's kind of pointless to have a, like, there's a nice campfire, but there's nothing here at the campfire. Maybe if we put something here, then it might be like, oh, okay, that's how we're coming here. Or something to check, maybe a collectible. Some people sitting there. This does seem more natural, being more given a bigger gap before the um the, t the moment you actually meet with her. I do like that. I don't like how it goes awkward, like the camera awkwardly goes through the trees. Maybe if that was, I don't know, a bit. F well, if it was f no. Don't know. That's a bit tricky one, isn't it? Um, 
there's a hole in that. So, oh god, this jump is so bad. Yeah, I see why they did it like that, because people were complaining about being able to move around a lot while jumping, but now you only go forward or back, like whatever direction you were jumping in. So, it, yeah, I can understand why they did it, but it still feels a lot worse than it did before, like jumping. Like, I feel like there's weights strapped to my feet right now. That doesn't feel good. beforehand. The design's apparently been changed, so let's see. Now I was talking to someone before and like the cover of the image has changed, but she's still got the anime eyes. So that's um different. The clothes rip on the sleeve shows that you know defying gravity on one of the arms. Oh I can still walk through her. That um I know, I guess they still want to keep that, you know, realism doesn't matter that much. The foot thing, you know, I, I'm not entirely... <laughs> I think she's, yeah, we're floating above the ground. Interesting. Um, those, those rocks on the wall as well shouldn't be capable of standing. Like, they would fall down, they wouldn't be able to stand through that. But I always suspend my disbelief in those minor things, as well as the hair clipping through her clothes. Um, her clothes clipping through her arm. But you know, it's a design that I'm not too interested in for her. The cuts on her arms is more interesting. Her hands seem paler than the rest of her, though. I'm correct. But yeah, the most weird thing about that character is the fact that the face shows some serious, like, warrior-esque woman, but the, um, the rest of her show, like, when you see her in game, oh, okay, that cape doesn't have physics, and, oh, wait, no, it does, it's just a delayed in or something. But yeah, she's, like, a clearly a anime girl, you know, like, anime face. So I don't know if they're planning to change that later or what, but, you know, I, I honestly prefer the anime style more than the series style, because the series to me just, it just, I don't know what about it, it it is specifically, but I just, I don't like it. If someone gives me a foul taste, just looking at it. Um, hmm. Someone's building the house. Okay, I don't know if that's just them. they doing their assets like that, just building a hat, a roof for the house, and they just left it there. But you know, and, mm, don't know. Don't know. Maybe it could actually be in the game that someone's building their house and they they've done the roof that way and then they'll put it on later even though you wouldn't actually build it that way you do the roof and you know a couple studs here and there so you can actually hold the roof up and then you build the walls around it but you know gotta suspend your disbelief again I do actually kind of like that level design a, a lot like I wouldn't say a lot more because I did like the other level but I do like it more which is surprising because I thought I'd like the old one way more. This cutscene is done a lot differently. I do like the sounds. Um, I think that may be a bit much. But. Oh, she got a step for a bed. <laughs> yeah, that looks like Farm Girl. There is a skip now. But the screen doesn't. 
Oh wait, yeah, he he still look clips through the and her face is still overly done. That step seems so unnecessary. But I think they folk I guess they wanted to highlight the book so we'll ignore her. But, Cassini has done a lot better though. This is the most confusing bit though. Why do I leave her behind? <laughs> like why? Why did you leave me? Ah, uh, he. Okay, shit. Kind of surprised they had him swear. I actually did decide to. <laughs> the subtitles need a lot of work. I don't know why they're so. Oh, yeah, those are experimental for sure. Because everything else, you know, they, they look a lot better. To a floating rock when a green crosshair appears. Now this is a change that I really like. I don't like how his arm is right now. That looks a bit weird. Um, the controls are still bad. But let me try my controller right now. Alright. Now it certainly does have controller support. I don't know what's up with this animation. Um, do not like it. All right, yeah, that that feels good. That feels good. Like that doesn't look good, but it feels good. Um, all right, yep, yep. Deeper doesn't do anything. Okay, yeah, so I might actually use this more. I, I hope it has combat. I want to test out how his combat is. But, you know. Alright, yeah, because they said in one of those things that they would all be red trees. Like, they would always be red. Okay, I do appreciate that you can't have to tap the button now instead of just letting go whenever you... Oh, shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, so is it only trees that I can hook onto now? Um, Alright, yeah, the checkpoint... It must be whenever I surpass a certain line that the checkpoint spawn, because that's also another glitch um, in the system. So, you know, um, yeah. Um, Where can I sling? I can't really sling anywhere with that. So yeah, I, I don't see the point of having that area there, other than maybe a nice tree. That seems kind of... Let's see this sling come out, actually. I'm, I'm hearing it, but I'm not seeing it. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't look that good. Does not look like... Like this slot... Oh, okay, his, move, his feet actually move while you swing. That is actually pretty nice. That's a very good... Oh. This thing still seems like it does the same problems, but... Okay, yeah, that does look better. Um... Probably want to kill me a bit quicker than that, just so I don't see as much of that crap. Um, don't know what's up with this pose. If they were going to do this, then maybe the, the arm should track where I'm aiming. But, I don't know, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they're going for here. Um... Oh, sweet. Right, yeah, no, that, that grappling hook's a lot better than the last, um, 
levels. Because now I can just aim and shoot from one to the other. Oh, yeah, that looked really good. I mean, it makes the same sound as, like, grass, but it's a lot better than before. Um, it'd be cooler if I could grapple with just about anything, that it doesn't have to be with red trees. I mean, this is clearly not modeled yet, like, but, you know. I don't mind it being grass area, but yeah, I guess with a charm. Mm -hmm. They still need, you know, not just a random void underneath. I recommend just doing, like, icy water or something. Or maybe just, like, a, a, um, fuck, what do you call it? Not, like, a gullet, but, you know, like, a, a, um, underpass or something, you know, just... That's really steep that it's like if you were to hit it you would you would die, you know. Oh, what the fuck? How the hell am I supposed to get across that? Tree's not far enough. Unless I can get more velocity from that somehow. Um can I shoot to that tree? No. I was kinda hoping I could get out to that area, but I guess that's just my curiosity. But yeah, it feels really good swinging from thing to thing now. Like that is definitely my biggest compliment to this... Fuck. <laughs> to this version of the, um, the game compared to the last one. Because the last one, it... It kind of felt bad to swing, but now it's like, it actually feels good. I mean, you know, the, the actual slingshot itself, uh, the sling, or, or the arrow rather, I should say, from the grappling hook, still needs a bit of work, a bit of tweaking. So I feel like sometimes it stretches down, you know, drags me to hell and shit. Um, but, you know, if... Maybe if they added a tool to, um, or like a, an additional button to draw people in towards the grapple point, that would, um, make it a lot better to, to just use and play around with. Apart from that, you know, it's, it's a perfectly, okay, that didn't, I don't know what happened there. I definitely held the button. Um, shit. Maybe that's a one in a million glitch. Um, because yeah. sometimes it's just not snappy enough. Ah, uh, yes, that feels good. I feel like it's a lot better if you could just grapple to the ground to pull yourself there rather than a specific red spot. Because that just seems a bit weird. Maybe if there were piles of hay or something. Like just, you know. Um, or dirt mounds. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. It was actually kind of pretty tricky to, to jump across that point. Okay, so the sprint is just hold down the joystick. Um, I would have preferred click in, but... Mm, still not entirely sure why there's that one tree over there. Um, yeah, yes, thank you. Um, yeah, obviously it needs a bit of a tweak. That's not this whole place. It's fucking. It's nice to see that they are putting in work with this one, though. Fuck. 
Um, I think that needs a twig, though. I feel like the tree placement wasn't a good... Can I jump out of this? Am I stuck? Okay, um, this is a serious glitch, and they're gonna need a patch. Um, for the time being, no, I can't grapple onto that. Um, I, I think what's happened is because I'm coming from the bottom. Yeah, okay, so there's a bit of land above me, and the camera can't go through it, that's why it's doing this. And there's actually a hitbox above me on that surface, is what I think is happening, and that I'm colliding, my model is colliding with it. So I'm not capable of sliding through it. But I think I'm stuck here because there's something underneath me, another one that must have somehow passed through. Yeah, because I could grapple onto that. Shit, is there a way to... No, there's not. I'm going to have to just close it. Oh, God. Alright, just back from where the glitch occurred. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe just a tree vine or something. It looks pretty weird. Um, I feel like I'm in Dr. Seuss, the way these trees are hanging. Like a Dr. Seuss book. Those patches still look really weird. They look like they're from Little Big Planet. But, you know, everything's... Ex oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck? God damn. This is definitely a platformer. Holy fuck. I hope I don't have to rely on those pads because it kind of fucking sucks whenever I have to rely on those pads to shoot at instead of the trees. Trees are just a lot better, a lot more natural, a lot bigger targets that are easier to just aim at and shoot towards. But, um... Mm. Mm. These trees, this one tree, because it's only the one tree that I can shoot at, is so far back. It's, uh... Yeah, the PC controls still seem quite shit, but the controller controls are a lot better. Oh, fuck me. At least the one good thing about this area is at least there's multiple ways to get to your target. <laughs> oh, fuck me, head on to that too long. Oh shit. No. Uh, magic. Yeah, I'll, I'll just fucking bullshit myself. Oh. Because fucking. Fuck the fit. My arm's still going a little stupid. Um. These bridges stick out so much. Definitely the biggest thing they need to work on, though, is what's underneath that kills you or, or like if they're going to have a flying upwards and they need some story element reason why they are i did read some of the script and they're all going crazy about this magic stuff so maybe there's some magic shit going on i don't know but it is quite a a, a point of contention that people will just be focusing on too much otherwise and they're going to be falling to their death every time looking at these boulders in the sky, randomly, so. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Alright, that wasn't actually that bad for, oh, okay, um, going up has always been a real tough problem, so I really hope it's not actually expecting me to go up right now. Because um, the grappling hook, if anything, drags me down to hell whenever I use it. So, um, oh, this is, I thought the other point was fucking stressful. Oh, boy. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, God. I think my game's just crashed. Nope, nope. Yeah. All right. All right. I don't think so. Oh well, yeah, when it's an experimental game, it will. But... Oh shit! No, fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, oh my god! They built a lot of this level. They probably should have chilled it out with the the level because I feel like they've they've made this area too long here on the platform. Maybe just go a little lighter, just for the sake of 
teaching people how to use it and go, well, yeah, I guess I do want to keep it a four hour game. So. Is there a way to make this longer? Because I wasn't expecting it to. Oh, okay, I can. No, that's not what I was... Oh, fuck me. Can I shoot to that one? Yeah, I can, alright. Yep, um... Okay, um... Hang on, hang on, can I... Shit, yeah, that's just different parts of that. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fuck me, this is so tricky. Alright, alright, I'm starting to get there. Starting to get there, lads. We nearly got this this time. We, um... I, did, I have no idea I'm gonna move from here. Oh, shit, no, that's... Whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. Um, no, that that part of the level fucking sucked. Though, yeah, that doesn't look natural at all. That's two trees. What did you say? You get a chain on your outfit. But yeah, that that looks like two trees like slapped together. That was so awkward. Just trying to get them all there, but then hmm. that needs a bit of tweaking before that's a good level. It almost was actually manageable somehow. I don't know, I think the grappling hook as well as the... Oh, shit. Don't make me go all the way back, please. Where's the respawn point? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on. Fuck. So, what are you getting dressed in? Like... Oh, yeah, I'll be yeah, I did it again. I got up there. Alright, what did <laughs> I... F Why do everyone like my Shinrin videos? Because titties. Yeah. <laughs> do I have to explain the obvious, Ash? Why do people like titties? Because they're titties, Ash. Because they're titties. <laughs> <laughs> that means I have to start making more... Oh, right. Do they end it just with the rape thing again? Oh, damn it. You know what they should do? They should have the fight scene there and then end it afterwards. How would you rate grappling? Um, grappling was kind of good. How would you rate the art? Art was good. Animation? Yeah, it's okay. Story? Very weak. Very, very weak. It's, um, the characters, we don't know when, I don't know enough about the characters or story to really read it, so, thank you for playing. <laughs> oh, that's probably why they have a internet thing, they probably have that for the rating, because they're not getting enough feedback, so they probably have them rate that, even though I don't know how you could use that sort of feedback to really work with anything. Because it's this, it's not defined enough. Just in Star Wars words, thank you for playing. Is that button that I press that just close? Like, do I just close it? Hey, I like this video. Like you. All right, so this is Eragon, uh, version zero point three seven. I'll probably compare this one, you know, first impressions to the other ones. Um, this is what I got when I launched the game, um, um, I, I, it took a long time to start, so I really don't want to restart it, but this is clearly not what's meant to happen. They have changed the combat, like, they've changed a lot from it, so they changed the combat from swords to magic, um, alright, I'll use both keyboard and controller. Um, I hope this works out, because for some reason I now need to use, um, get that, what is that, oh, okay, that's refilling magic, um, 
What are controls? I don't know. Oh God, I'm gonna have to restart it. Like this is. Was that a cliff? Okay, that was a cliff. Okay. There's no restarting either. Mm hmm. It's showing me keyboard buttons as well, so I don't know if they completely restarted or what. But yeah, the the hand at least looks like it's done where the grappling hook is. So that's an upside. But Jesus Christ, they they were revamping the game and they're going to do a combat system. So I'm keen to do that. But hang on, I'm just going to have to restart the fucking game. Alright, second run at the game, and it looks like it spawned in the exact same spot, the exact same way. This time I'll try to walk directly forward, because it was a rectangle box. So. That took fucking nearly 20 minutes to launch, and now it's... Because yeah. it's coming up as a fucking a Steam game for some goddamn reason, and I, it's not coming up in my game folders. They're saying that I'm playing like right now. Oh man, what's going on? All right, I'm gonna have to relaunch this. Hang on a sec, guys. All right, so after having waited about four hours or so and having talked to a dev finally, I did manage to get it working now where I've got the start menu. It's pretty nice that they have this. It, it is missing the options menu here as maybe someone else, like a load or something, but it is nice to see that it's got a menu, maybe it could do with a background or something, but let's get into it. Um, I believe it's loading, it is using my Steam FPS counter because it's coming up as a Steam game, which made me very skeptical. Um, it is launching on Steam as some um, uh, Space Wars and it is counting up time as well as some strange fiber tree. Is it loading right? Yeah, okay. Alright, here we go, here's the fucking, alright, um, I did take out my controller before, so maybe it was my controller that was causing it, um, alright, the floor just had to load in, so this does seem like it's the same location as before, I do notice the health bar and mana bar, as you saw before, that, that was that, so I'm going to compare this to the last version, which was version, uh, 0 0.27, that I did before, um, New quest, combat training. Okay, so it does the Steam thing. Um, I do like the air effect they have for that, the little distortion to show just how powerful that fireball is. Even though the fireball fall goes to, like, the projectile is pretty slow. Okay, that's subtitles needs a bit more work. Um, what does Q, what does Q do? Seems to disable when I do that. It makes it look like an MMO, kind of those squares at the bottom there. Um, but yeah, the the projection of like the air blast that's kind of backwards tells me that it should be going a lot quicker than what the projectile speed is. So that's a minor complaint there. The animations are decent, I guess. There's one with the right hand, the, the hand that has a sling, where he kind of throws it forwards just looks awkward. The other animations I'm fine with. That one just, I don't know, I feel like it's missing a couple frames and he, he kind of dips his spine or his body forward too much. Like, like too low to the ground. But so far it's looking alright. I did hear a couple different weird things about this. Um, Alright yeah, the sprint immediately accessible, that's good. Um, I can't remember whether, oh yeah, there's a grapple. Um, did I have to go over here? Because I have been um, put in combat now, so I'm really keen to see how that will be like. It's kind of weird how they're going for the third person shoot. I guess it will work out a bit easier to do that than it is um, making really good animation and smooth combat for a um, an action game style sort of game. Even though I do like action game. Oh, yeah, the cutscenes are completely redone where they're um, motion captured. I am. Um, a big fan of how they are doing the animation now. Again, I still don't like the soldier talking, but all right, that was a lot better of a camera angle. What are they looking for? I do, I do actually like that. I don't like how that shield's clipping through his leg. That looks really bad, and his sword. 
Like maybe your sword should just be tilted on a bit more of an angle or something. Okay, that was a bit awkward with that character. <laughs> Did he have like a little girl walk? Where he like held up his arm like an anime girl walk? It was fucking funny. I thought he would stick around and I'd have to fight him or something. You know, like he'd be a nosy little son of a bitch. But, oh, can I still jump on this? Oh, I just noticed there's a little air effect when I fall. Oh, I, I thought it was a bit different than that, the original one that I saw. Alright, yeah, I can still get on this. I don't know what I'm going to have to end up cutting. Honest. No, I can't get up there. Alright. Oh, she's actually hiding. She's not lying down. That's a lot better. I do like that. <laughs> Is that just a plank of wood? Who are you? You'll freeze out here after the sun goes down. I have somewhere safe you can go. But you don't know me. I do like that. A lot of RPGs don't actually do that, to be honest. I actually show you the way to go, not by a waypoint that's like indicating... Okay, that was a bit awkward. I didn't expect to see that. That's like floating in the air like a giant dot with a little line down it, like Skyrim saying, go here, or a compass, or, or, or a little mini-map that uh, has the icon there, like Borderlands does. But this actually has the... um trail path like you're playing a GTA game with cars so I do generally like that it is kind of good in an open world game but in the sense of this part of the game I don't feel like it's really needed honestly I think it would be kind of better um just starting off to, to go without it okay it seems to disable when you're in the air um okay uh, yeah, that doesn't even tell me to walk via, like, the, um, path. That's probably pathing sequences, and it's just going for the shortest route to and fro the thing. They seem to bounce around those objects. But generally, you would just have a go on the main road, by main roads, not actually through the shortcuts. Because generally, that's an exploration thing, that you would go through the shortcuts and to try and take a short and then fall into something that you're not meant to do. <laughs> exploration and all that. There is kind of a pros and cons of it, so, you know, that's, that's something that some people like a lot and some people will just absolutely hate, but I think it's a good move. I like the addition of it. It needs a bit of a reworking because I don't think it should be telling you straight from the actual path. That's something that you should just intuitively want to do if you want to seek out more. Oh yeah, this is entirely different. She doesn't seem to have a... Wait, did she have a road before? What's that noise? It's like someone's drinking or something. I okay, that was a bit awkward how she... She didn't exactly step up high, it was just her model floated upwards. My name is Anna, by the way. You never asked. I don't think it's important to show them sitting down, though, honestly. But, my uncle's hunting cabin. Yeah, they did change her model as well. The arms are a bit awkward, maybe they should be separated a bit, because the elbows are completely straight and it bends into the body. It's something when I'm animating that I try to avoid a lot, because they, they don't look relaxed then. They look very, way too postured. See, when he's got his arms at his side, like, he's holding them outwards, like when he's asking, when, you know, like, what, or when, it, it looks a lot more relaxed than when they're completely stretched out, when they're stretched out, it just doesn't look natural. Those soldiers, we have to go. Okay, now. that's the te that's the worst camera angle, yeah. Especially with the um Anna model clipping through it. But I do like the motion capture, it does make the cutscenes look a lot better. But that one it looked that cutscene was worse. The other one was way better, but that one was actually a lot worse. That one needs a lot of retweaking, I reckon. Um, what's up with these load times? They're like twice as long as they used to be. Like, this is a lot longer. There's nothing to indicate that it's actually working. Like, most people would see this black screen and think, Oh shit, it's crashing. Even though it's, it's actually not. Maybe That's just a spinner or a loading bar. Going to the woods that way. There's a path I did the like that you see how she runs off now. Well, instead of just her chance. being gone. Uh, the, the subtitles are terrible. Oh, get T back. You know, like, it's like they're talking, but the text speed is just too slow that it can't keep up. Okay, what was that? Just briefly, yeah. Like, the cloud is just glitching out briefly. What's up with that? 
I mean, it's only when I move the camera would jump or something like that, it kind of... Yeah, that's pretty fucking weird. Um, Alright, they have modelled out this, so that's really good. But the sections here for grappling, I remember being pretty bad. Um, as well, can I only grapple onto certain things? Because, yeah, that might be a bit hard to tell now. Because the, the tree... They're not red or anything, they look exactly like the rest of them. So I would naturally, like if I was someone that didn't play the beta before, I would see this tree and I'd be like, oh, I can grapple onto this, this wide tree that sticks out. So I'd figure, can't I shoot to everything that's, you know, has that's the same sort of branch? Like what is it exactly that allows me to grapple onto this, you know? And generally they look for distinguishing features and there's nothing really distinguishing this tree from others. Maybe it's a big branchy part, but you can't exactly link onto that, so you'd be looking for like the actual leaves and shit, right? And it's like all of these trees are the exact same, but they don't light up. Oh, okay, they, yeah, they still have those trees over there. So maybe if these trees were different, that they, were, they actually had red leaves for whatever reason, with like a bit of snow on their tips or something, just white tips or some shit, just so they, oh fuck. Oh god, I hate this bit. I did hear they put in a save, so it's not going to be as dreadful for me to get through it. Okay, um, I just respawned out of bounds. Okay, that's not good. I do like that there is a death noise, though, and that they have modelled the cliffside here, but why am I still falling? I shouldn't be falling this far. There's something wrong with the spawn. Oh wow, I, I actually... Put a collision on these models? I thought they would have just been textures. They wouldn't even bother. It does make things a lot, a bit more, I wouldn't say a lot more because they're still floating rocks, but a bit more explained. Um, can I just respawn? Can I just like die? I wonder if there's a main menu, is there a pause menu? Oh god, I am walking so slow in this. Alright, yeah, that is running, because you can see the hand, it's kind of, yeah. Wait, wait, no, this is still a flaw. Um, please don't tell me I have to restart the game, because I really don't want to. It, it's taken so long to get things good as it is. Jesus fucking, oh my god. Okay, they even put on a flaw, what the fuck? Alright, I'm going to have to... I'll get them to cheat. Sir, out back, there's someone running. Crap. There we go. Just needed the momentum. Alright, so I'm back where I resumed last time. It didn't take me a short time to get to this. This will be a fucking pain in the ass to edit too. A bit, somewhat, because I'm a bit of an idiot and I left the recorder on. So, I'm going to have to sift through more to get less, in other words. But, we're back here. I can't remember where they put the, um, the new spawns. I believe it was just before the bullshit, so I don't have to resume, go through all this bullshit again. Uh, they do have the verticality bit again, which I s still wish I fucking hated before, if you remember. Um, oh yeah, this one's a awkward one, isn't it? I remember hating it around... The grappling sections around here is where I really like my interest just kind of dropped off. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, oh shit. Okay. Um. Okay, so you're kind of stuck in place when you cast. If it, it doesn't feel that, um. Yeah, swinging would feel a lot more. Yeah, maybe it's because of the weirdness of doing that where it feels more scurrymy. It still feels kind of awkward though, like how you're locked in. Like there should be some movement to casting spells, like you should still be able to move and shit. My health, does that regenerate? Because my mana is. Doesn't look like my health regenerates, like at all. 
maybe I have to go get something. The dogs didn't seem too bad, their AI or anything. The models looked less than par, but it's a lot better than you know, what I figured they'd be if they. Oh. This one was actually the the bit that I did like, honestly. This one just felt so free. This area, I remember saying before, because there's so many different options for path, even though they all kind of that same destination. Oh god, please don't fuck up on me. Come on, come on, come on. Sweet. All right, it is a bit back, but you know. But yeah, there's so many different like pass it like it just feels free in terms of um navigation you know it's not actually like different routes or something it just it makes it feel really good to grapple you know like you've got the actual freedom over the mechanic and the world around you which just really is good because you i wanted to see this mechanic really done well i feel like a lot of the other level oh shit Crap, that was close. A lot of the other level design. Yeah. Alright, that's that's pretty nice. Um there is a bit of fun to be had with those. Oh god, is it crashing on me? Okay, no. I might have one too many applications running right now. The OBS does cut things down a bit. But yeah, you can see the textures aren't um done in this area too well. Oh god, there's still that background thing going on. But yeah, overall, it doesn't seem like they changed too much. I, I do want that mechanic, uh, the fighting to be done a, a, a bit polished. I mean, I, I guess everything technically does need to be polished up, but... <laughs> I was hoping that would be a swing, not a direct, like, pull towards or yanking there, but... Oh god, shit. Whew. Oh shit, no. Spider Man, Spider Man. <laughs> oh shit. Hang on. I don't like how he holds his arm up. Oh, yeah, this is the bit that I fucking hated before. That took me fucking ages to get up originally. That looked a bit awkward. Um. Because it, it's just not good being like trying to use this to go upwards is more just for swinging from place to place like tarzan or something it's easy to go down with it like i wouldn't mind going down with its grappling hook with elevation that would actually be pretty fun but going up just it just sucks like it just um That wasn't actually as bad as last time. Oh god, it is doing the thing again. Hopefully it doesn't crash. I'll, I'll just cut this bit out. Oh, is that the end? Oh, um... Okay. Well, it still seems to have this. I thought there would be a bit more to show. It just looks like they did combat and... The new cutscenes and shit, you know, like there, there wasn't actually that big of a difference because I, I have heard that they're going in quite a, mm, okay. Animation, yeah, the animation was a lot better. Um, story, there's not enough to really judge it yet. Characters, yeah. You know, they did make a lot of big, small improve, like small improvements that make a big impact or change. But mm. overall, I did like that one, that change more than last time. The, the sword combat, ultimately, I think it is better to swap to the fireball thing. But anyway. Suicide.